Yes, it's the snood, spreading like wildfire through the English vernacular, almost as fast as the fashionable item has been wrapping itself round the necks of Premier League stars, or at least some of them. Manchester United players might wear gloves, but they're not in the mood for a snood. United's Rio Ferdinand tweeted, we won't wear them in games, poor name for a neck warmer. Well, the fashion pundits say they've been on the male catwalks for about a year now, but football still hadn't thought of jumpers for goalposts when the original snood was born. What we call a snood today is not what, what history referred to as a snood. I mean, technically a snood was something, that sort of string that held up young women's hair as a sign of um, virginity or, or, or uh, freshness. 18th century girls might well have rather liked the warming white tights and snood, of course, worn lately by Arsenal's Emmanuel Aboué, or perhaps the matching dark tights sported by the officials at Old Trafford. But come on, it's just not cricket, tweeted England's Graham Swan. I wonder what Norman Hunter and Chopper Harris would have made of the snood being adorned by some Prem footballers. Broken leg time. Well, let's ask him. Ron Chopper Harris, the old Chelsea hard man, got hit.